Hey folks, how's it going? Okay, I've, I had a bit of a mistake in the last episode and I, re I recorded on the wrong OBS setting, so I've had to delete one of my episodes, I'm afraid. Um, you didn't miss much. My army moved, well, you did. My, my army moved into um, Picenium uh, here, or Picenium, and we lost a battle, which I was really surprised at because I had like four legions, two LA, you know, it was uh, my army was significantly stronger. Um, but I think that they had a, long, a bigger what, a combat with, and I got a load of bad rolls. Just got really got unlucky. So yeah, that really that you kind of missed an episode of me kind of going, oh, what you know, with a WTF symbols flying out of my head because I just couldn't understand why I'd lost. Um, but I think I know. Okay, let's just watch this replay to see what happened. Yeah, so I wasn't best pleased about that. Like that, that's not the best start I've ever had in a game, and. I put it down to the fact that honestly I'm really rusty at this game. I have been playing with Pontus, but like I've not played with no, I'm not going to piece with you, you absolute shitbags. <laughs> There's not a chance. You've been taking the mick. Right. No, I'm no, you're dying. <laughs> I'm not I'm not letting them go to peace. Right. So uh what did I do? I built some food infrastructure. We also went we got an aging token last turn because um, I prematurely took my troop, uh, my my citizens out of cultural um, production, which messed me up. So I ended up just nose diving back down into the, yeah. Look, I've nose dived down into the culture table again. I should have kept those in. I was desperate to get more food production up. That's why. So I built anyway. This turn I built the shepherd house here. I built the orchard here, and we've got the wood cutting up now. So we've got more infrastructure. Um, which means that we don't have to put quite so many people into infrastructure and we can focus a bit more on food, but we're going to have to go into culture. Um, culture production is really important at this point in the game. Um, okay. We also need lots of food because we don't have good food production. Uh, so the other thing that you missed was I was talking about this idea that you want to, this mistaken idea in my opinion, that you that you have to go growth food every time. That's just not, that's just not true in this game. Um, it's yeah, I've mentioned this before, but like, I had a bit of a disagreement with someone who was claiming that they had made a mathematical proof that the uh, that you had to go growth. Or that was the most optimal thing to do, and actually his mathematical proof was just him waffling on Reddit. And there was no, it wasn't like a point by point thing that you could refute. It was just bollocks. <laughs> However, he did make a very good point, and the very good point is that you do you 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 do want more population because the more population you've got, the more everything else grows, right? However, it's not that simple because you've got to consider decadence. You've also got to get you've got to consider it getting invaded. So if you're putting everything into growth and you've not built your defense yet, it's just it was a stupid thing to say. However, you know it, the the one point that he did make that was smart was that yeah, if you if you maximize your growth, if you can, then that's you know then you are going to get more out of your empire. But you got to consider loyalty, right? You got to you got to consider loyalty. You've also got to build yeah defenses. You got to you got to consider decadent. Yeah, it's just not true. <laughs> it's just not true. And like, if you're going to do a mathematical proof, guys, make sure that you actually do you know what that means and put up, put up a, bu a bullet pointed list of math, you know a mathematical proof that actually that you could that a mathematician can go back in and trace and figure out how to refute. And if it's not refutable, congratulations, you've done a mathematical proof. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's just typical, you know, like when you get these typical social social media posts where it's just like everybody's arguing and it's just absolute junk. <laughs> so I don't go on Reddit. Like I just keep off Reddit, man. I really, really don't like it as a platform very much. I think it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad for everybody. It brings out the worst, it brings out the worst in people. It's worse than Twitter, in my opinion. And that's bad. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, we want to start getting some culture stuff up if we can. Uh, where are we? Yeah, I'm still, I'm like, I'm still raging about this. Like, I'm, I'm really, really annoyed, and I don't know if I'm annoyed with myself. It's a shame you can't see the battle. The battle was so, it was really close, and I got a load of bad rolls. So I, I lost a bunch of battles in. I lost a few in the in the center that I just got really, really low dice rolls. So um, yeah, I kind of had bad luck, but that that happens in games based on luck, doesn't it? You can't win them all. Okay, here in Tiberius, uh, we got the orchard up. So we're getting a little bit more food production. So we're getting more population growth. That's good. But we do need to start putting people into into culture. Um, okay, we've already got a stud. Smokehouse would be useful. We've got the expert stone cutter, which is useful. We've got a guard tower. That's good. That helps present, present the raids. Um, we do need more money, though. And we need culture. Now this is good for the decadence reduction, but it costs a shit ton of money. 
Uh, you need papyrus, otherwise it costs you 15 gold. 15 money. This is a good one too, the craftier district. Oh, I've got mineral veins there as well. What's that one do again? Oh, it just gives you a straight money and money and metal. So it's a natural resource, that one. Okay. Oh, we've got good infrastructure in here. Um, let's go with the guard tower. And over here in Campania. Ah, oh, there's a shipyard. Look, this is a good one. It takes a long time to build, though. And it will come up later on. And there's, I think there's also... Is it the shipyard that there's a local, that there's a regional decision for? It might, it might be. I can't... Oh. Nope. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, learned how to do this before, didn't I? Wait a minute. That one. We've got to right-click on it. There we go. All right. Let's get out of this. Uh, what are we doing? We don't have much money, but we do need we need more people in uh, culture, I think. But we also want the farm out fast. I think we'll probably climb out of culture this turn. Yeah, I think we'll climb out of the we'll climb out of the lower third of the decadence thing this turn. So I think we're good to go. I'm gonna. Oof. Yeah, we just don't have any money though. Now that's the problem. Um. Yeah, I need to I need to beat these guys quick. The by the way, Richard and Richard and um, Hyde are pretty good at this game, and they play it quite a lot, whereas I don't. So, um, I I can't. This is kind of like a bad situation. I am a very powerful faction, but they're only powerful if you use them right. And yeah, if I if I if I keep losing basic battles like this, it's like the first battle in the game, and I lost it. Um, I do think I was I do like I say I do think I was unlucky. It's a shame you guys couldn't see it. Uh, what are we getting here then? All right, this will trade in wine. It does improve loyalty as well, but I don't know if I'm bothered about that. Um, This is going to... Yeah, we'll have to trade in leather. This might be useful. Do we need leather anywhere else? Let's go for food. Uh, we'll just keep building the... We'll keep building the farms up. We, we need to get a few farms in here, in, in these. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it. Um, yeah, we don't really have much money. More money. That's kind of it's kind of annoyed me that I lost that battle. Okay, guys, I will catch you in the next one. So sorry about the missing episode, but yeah, it's just me being dumb. It's that's the problem with me recording very very early in the morning after I just woke up. <laughs> okay, catch you next time, guys.